Hey, I was, um, I couldn't help but notice what you're wearing. I thought it looked very epic. Um, I will take that off you right now, uh, to, in exchange for seven boxes of orange flavored Tic Tacs. Please, I'm begging, please! Hey everyone, it's me, Bait, from YouTube. I have returned. Today's video is gonna be one that I tease a little bit, you know, I edge you off a little bit in the in the community tab, uh, if you do keep up with updates on there. I hope you do, because if you don't, then I'm sort of talking to a brick wall, which is technically what I do in these videos anyway. But with that being said, today we're gonna be having a look at the brand new Kero Kero Benito record. It came in today, this is Intro Benito. Now it's not exactly a new album, We've oh, this is the first Kero Kero Benito uh, full length album. Uh, I'm aware. It's called Intro Benito for a reason. Uh, but it's finally got pressed on vinyl. Uh, this is a special edition version, and um, it wasn't the only thing that it came with. I play vinyl give you a bunch of random shit when you order from them. Um, I got a It's Taurus Season sticker with something on it. Fucking a pulley vinyl sticker, which I, I have one before, but it's always good to have another one. And they also give you Airheads, uh, you know, the candy. Um, you usually give me watermelon. I got cherry this time, so... Uh, Hopefully, there's not poison in it, but, um... Yeah, you never know. I mean, if I, let's, let's, let's try it open, shall we? The record videos didn't do well, so now Bates has gone off to do food reviews. Jesus fucking Christ. That looks... Oh my god, that look, That is plastic. That is that is not candy, that is silicon. Oh my god, that's awful. I don't know if I... No, like Play-Doh. Unless I've actually done something to this, and I'm gonna get, get poisoned. Oh well. Well, we'll see. So yeah, Intro Benito. I actually gave this album a little bit of a re-listen. Um, it's classic Gary Kero Benito. But people are probably picking this record up for the simple reason that it includes Flamingo. Uh, even though we've had a Flamingo 7-inch press before for Black Friday and some other special events. And it also has that one song, I'd Rather Sleep, which got famous because of that meme shark. Not the Pog shark one, I'm talking about the other shark that appeared on like TikTok and Vine and shit like that, I think. But the, what makes this one special is this little sticker here. So this was the early bird edition. Uh, as you can see, it was limited to 2,000 copies. Now, I didn't really see this get re um, announced on their social media. I literally just scrolled on my emails and I saw that I, I, you know, I got an email saying this was being released. So I picked it up quickly, got it. It comes on a clear vinyl with a splatter. I'll get into it, I'll show you in a second. But it also came on a standard uh, black pressing as well as well as a CD. So if vinyl is not your forte, you can still get it on the CD if you want physical media. Just opening this up right now so we can go in and have a little bit of a look for ourselves. That's off. Yeezy, Kanye did nothing wrong. No cap on God, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that. Oh, but here it is. So it's all matte with a little bit of a glossy sort of uh, logo. I've actually, I think I've shown this logo before um, in one of my in my other KKB collection video, except we had like the English font on it, you know, I had it on a t-shirt. And there's the back, listing there as well. And opening this up, I actually, because I haven't had a look in, inside yet. Does it have a code? Well, it does have a code, no way. So if in case you want to download this, it does have a code on the back, which I'm just going to cover up with my fingies, so you can't steal that, but there it is. A little download code, polyvinyl. And then here we have, oh, okay, these are the lyrics. So there's lyrics for the uh, side A, and then side B there. Of course, even some of the, all of the lyrics are uh, in Japanese as well, seeing as Sarah is Japanese, she sings in Japanese. It's got a nice J-pop feel to it. In fact, this album is probably the most KKB sounding album from them. Uh, so different from what they usually do now, so. If you uh, listen to KKB or you're getting into them, Give this one a listen first. It's very, very good. And oh, wow, okay, I just saw the record. Here it is. Oh my goodness gracious. Clear with the pink splatter. That actually looks a whole lot better than I, I thought of the picture. Um, I remember on the, when they released the Sneaker Dance record, the little seven inch one, which I showed in my last video, which I'll, I'll leave a little card for if you haven't seen that yet. Um, people, a lot of people were disappointed because they thought the coloring was a bit shit because that was supposed to be sort of a mix of like blue and green. And in the promos it looked really nice, but in person it, was quite underwhelming. This one, however, I'm I really like. I I like the um I like how the color is very very similar, if not the same as the la label color, because it almost looks like it's just sort of you know spraying out from the inside, which looks very very nice. Um, now oh okay now here's what's interesting about this album actually when this came out, when each song 
every individual song was released on YouTube, they had a little um, icon uh, as like a visualizer sort of thing, you know, uh, almost like a single cover, except these aren't singles, they're just songs off the album. So uh, you got each um, little drawing there that corresponds to a different song there. Same on the back as well. This will be this will be side A because I think Intro Benito is the world icon. And on the back, yeah, you can see I'd rather sleep is the bed there. Funny shark meme. That looks very nice, actually. It doesn't feel too cheap either. It feels a little bit rough around the edge. But it feels quite thick. It, feels, it looks very nice. I'm pretty pleased with that. What do you guys think? Like I said, these are limited to 2,000 presses. So I think they are sold out now. If not, because these were actually released quite a few weeks back. I've been waiting on this for a couple of weeks. Um... So if you want to try and get one, maybe go on Discogs, go on eBay, try not to get scammed because people, especially at this time, seeing as this is very new, people will be offering a lot of money for this as well. But um, other than that, there's Intro Benito. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did. I hope you were excited for it. I hope to do more one-off little um, sort of one-off record sort of uh, videos like this where i can just show off one record if you guys are interested in it i know a few of you watched my last kkb video thank you for watching that video i really appreciate it i hope you like this one as well and um <coughs> i'm getting a really weird sort of feeling in my, my chest and my stomach now well i sure hope that airhead wasn't laced anyway thank you for watching this video if you're new here please consider watching my other videos and even subscribe me if you want to leave a like leave a comment tell me if you guys pick this up maybe you guys have any other sort of limited edition kkb records or uh, you know rare records in general thank you for watching and i'll see <coughs> i'll see you guys oh i've got poison i'll see you guys <laughs>